Okay, so here we've got our iPad, and uh, as you can see, I've got Garage Band and everything running on here. So uh, you might be wondering, well, how did I get the Garage Band mixed up to run? Okay, that's Garage Band, plus a whole load of other apps. So let's go into the App Store. Right, so let's do a search here for YouTube. Right, so we've got YouTube. The main YouTube here, which is this one. So get, install, unable to purchase YouTube, watch, listen, stream is not compatible with this iPad. And we're going to search for, we'll say, so I'm getting a music program. So we look for, um, okay, key stage. So this is the music app for hosting um, music. So there we have key stage. So here we go and have a look, right? So let's scroll down long here and it requires iOS 13. Now I'm on an iPad 2 here and this iPad 2 only goes up to 9.3.5. So let's see can we get it. So to do that we click on the get button and then it, it asks you here to install. So we go on the install button and here we go. It says unable to purchase key stage light is not compatible with this iPad. That's because it's looking for iOS 13 and we, we, we have only iOS 9.3.5 and that's as high as the iPad 2 or I have an iPad 3 there as well will go up to. So we're going to have a solution for this by going on to my PC. Also if you do like this video please give me a like down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. It would be much appreciated. Okay, so I'm back on my PC here and the first thing you need to do is search your browser and look for a version of iTunes 12.6.5.3. Now, just one word of caution or disclaimer before you go mad downloading. You can only have one instance of iTunes on your PC at any time. So just keep this in mind. Put it on a PC that has no iTunes for this to work. Now, when you have iTunes, Download it and install, you need to sign in using your Apple ID that you use when setting up your iPad. Now, I hope you saved your Apple ID from earlier. When you open up iTunes, uh, you might land on the music page or the films page. So, so I'm here now in my iTunes. I've downloaded and I've landed on the music page. iTunes version 12.6.5.3 has an app store built into iTunes and versions after this version does not have this app built in and it, this allows us to uh, download apps directly from iTunes and uh, we see here now I'm on the music page here and if we, if we go to this little box here and we click on the download the down arrow and then you'll see this apps and when you click on that, it'll take you to the App Store. Now, if you don't get to the App Store, just click on App Store here. And then click on iPad. So, that's the three things you're looking for. Apps in here. App Store up here. And click on iPad here. And that'll bring you to the um, place that you need to be. We can do a search thing in here for whatever we're looking for. So we'll say, we were looking for to download YouTube earlier on. We were looking at my iPad. So I'm going to search for YouTube in here. And it'll bring up the apps here. So we've got iPhone apps and we've got iPad. So the iPad apps here is what we're looking at. And we can see here we've got the YouTube watch live stream. So that's the YouTube app that we're looking for. We'll just go in here and we'll just take a look. And now we're going to go down and look for the compatibility, which is what you need to look for when you're downloading apps. And if we scroll down here, we can see the compatibility is here. So it tells us that it requires an iOS of 11 or later. And our iPads, iPad 2 and iPad 3, are running 9.3.5. So we're going to download this app here. We can download it here so if we click on the get button and we're going to download it here now we can see here now that the app has downloaded 
Okay, so uh, here now we're going to talk about key stage, which we were looking for there earlier on. So we've got two versions of key stage. One is a free version key stage light, and the other one is a, is a paid version. So we just go in and we take a look. That's it, there are screenshots of it, how to use it and stuff. If we scroll down here, then we can see that the compatibility so it requires 13 or later. So we're going to get this app. So to do that, we click on get, and then it's downloading. Now you can see here now, downloaded. So if we look in here then in the apps, and if we go to uh, library, these are all the apps that I've downloaded. Key stage there were after downloading, and YouTube there were after downloading. And earlier on, I downloaded these other apps. So it shows you here what apps you've downloaded. And all these apps then are waiting on my iDevices, so on my iPads, for to be installed. So I, I'll show you that now in a minute. But GarageBand here, um, I downloaded this. This was a one program I wanted. So I've just working, as you can see, on my on my iPad. So here we've got our GarageBand. If we scroll down here, we can see that the compa compatibility for iPad at the moment is 14. You can browse away here on apps and download what you think you might like and then you can test them out and see whether you like them or not. By downloading the apps here we'll be able to get them onto our iPad. So that's the next step is to go back again now to my iPad and we'll I'll show you what to do there. Okay so here I am now back on my iPad 2 again. And uh, the first thing we need to do is close any apps that might be open on your iPad. So if you tap the home button here twice, and then you can close any apps there that might be open. And just tap there again. And then we just go on to the iPad store. And click on that. And now if you look down here now along the bottom, you see you have a lot of options here. So if we go to here, what's purchased? Click on that little icon there. And here now you can see all the programs that I've downloaded. And that will correspond to what was on what we have to download on iTunes on my PC. So you can see here now we've got the key stage light, which we downloaded. And all these other programs here. GarageBand is already, I've it already downloaded, fully downloaded. You can see all these here, you've got this little cloud. Okay, so if we click on the little download, and now you can see it's trying to download it. So then it says here, it says, uh, do you want to download the last compatible version? So now it's asking me, do I want to download the last uh, compatible version of this program? And it said, this version of Key Stage Lite is not compatible with this device. So it's going to let me now download. So if I click on the download button, now you can see here now it's, it's walking away. So that's Key Stage Light there, and that's also uh, YouTube. There you go. And then we click on Open. And there we have it, Key Stage. So welcome to Key Stage. So and you can watch the tutorials and everything there, so that's working. Okay, so uh, just close that one off for a minute. And then we'll go back in here where we were. Now you can see here we've got a um, car tracker. Uh, we've got Neo Soul. I've already downloaded that. Garage Band, as I said, which we're looking for for ISO 14. That's also working. This this Garage Band is the original version, which is which you can record eight tracks simultaneously. And there it is, full version of uh, Garage Band drums, the whole works there, anything you want. So it's all there all working. So uh, let's just close out of that one. Real Electric Guitar, it's another one I've downloaded. So I don't know what these programs are yet, I haven't really looked at them. So now you can see here it's downloading. There it is, downloaded. Then we can open it. Right, so it says loading. So it looks like a guitar sim program. Uh, Samplitude, Amplitude, all these programs, able to download all these. We've got uh, MS Sessions. Okay, let's download that one. 
Uh, we've got uh, we've got um, YouTube here as well, so let's just download that one. Okay, so it said here, do you want to download the last compatible version? And then you click on download, and you can see there now the two of them are downloading. So it might just take a shot in the wire. So basically what you can do is you can get any app you want. So by downloading it on the PC, it automatically will wait here for you in the download page on the app store here on your iPad. And then you can just click on the little cloud and uh, it'll download uh, the apps and uh, it can take a while to download now you can see youtube there has finished downloading waiting to be open and uh, mk sensation there is still downloading so all these i can do the same thing uh, multi-tracker sample tank cs there as well amplitude cs for ipad is also there car tracker from yamaha is there um, i've got the card module grand piano free for ipad these are some of the programs here that i've um i still have to download them on and then see what they're like so this just to show you how to get your programs onto your ipad then you can try them out here then and see whether you like them you can always uh, uninstall them um if you're if you're not happy with them until you find the program that you do like so get downloading onto your old iPads and uh, have some fun. Now you can see that uh, MK Sensation has downloaded. So let's just open it up. Right, so uh, you can buy the whole program. Um, you, can, you can buy the different packages. So with a lot of these apps as well, there is an in-app purchase. Um, some of these apps are totally free, like GarageBand is fully free. Some of these other programs are fully free. Some of them, some of them you can download them be a demo on them and you can see what they're like and then you have an option then of in-app purchase to get the full programs so get downloading have some fun and uh, do like and subscribe to my video if you like them and i'll do more of this kind of content thank you